What the devil are you waking me up for, Jeeves? What's that? You want me to do the intro to a little show? On what? YouTube? How dare you call me such a thing? I'm not a cube. How dare you? Mm. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a little show called... What, what was it? Prime Yaps? What a very common word, yaps. I'm dead like that. No, I have to fix that at some point. Mm. Welcome to Prime Yaps, everybody. A little experimental show dedicated to all the all the things in gaming. Are you joking? Jeez, gaming. We'll certainly not be having any farting about around here. No, no, I just won't do it all. Hmm. Okay. Well, since it's just a placeholder, I'll make an exception this time. Anyway. Yes. So welcome to Prime Yaps, everyone. Little, uh, little experimental show on all things gaming. Thank you. Listen closely. This might save your life. Oh my God. Our soldiers will rage. War. War never changes. Hello, everybody. It's Prime here. Doing like a, a little, obviously from uh, Reginald Wilcox there. Uh, you, you heard that I was doing like a, a little, a little experiment, just to see uh, how people react to it. It's not going to be video based. I don't have the face for YouTube. I'm an ugly freak, so uh, probably not going to be doing any videos of this. Um, but yeah, uh, this is just going to be like a little, you know, just a little uh, five, five, ten minute talk. We we chat. We little, we little thing, just you know, just trying it out, just trying it out. I'm just gonna try something out. What I'm gonna do is uh, every so often, whenever I see something that looks like it's gonna be really good or like uh, something I'm interested in or whatever, it's gonna little talky opinion thing on uh, what I've seen. So uh, I woke up this morning and uh, it turns out that uh, Bethesda had their uh, pre E3 show thing that they were doing. Uh, Sony and Microsoft are, you know, still to have theirs and all that. But yeah, so I uh, got on, just sat down at my, at my PC, turned on my, turned on my PC, had a wee look on the internet, seen that uh, they had shown, they had shown Doom, they had shown like uh, these other, these other games. They they, sh they showed uh, Elder Scrolls Online, some new content for that. They showed this uh, Elder Scrolls like trading card game thing or something like that. Uh, they had shown Fallout Shelter, and the, obviously the big finale was that they showed Fallout 4. And Fallout Shelter was actually within the Fallout 4, like, the, like talky thing. Um, but yeah, so, I was, uh, like, the first thing I did was just skip straight to the Fallout 4 stuff, because that's the stuff that I'm totally interested in. Like, that is, that's the one thing that I've been waiting on for ages, I've been waiting on a new Fallout game and like ever since I've seen like gameplay in Mad Max I was like man this is like the Fallout game that I've always wanted to play and then they showed Fallout and it's like whoa this is like <laughs> two amazing looking games in one year ah, can't wait, it's gonna be so good um, so yeah they, were, they, they showed off uh, that they've improved the crafting system in Fallout you know like you, you sit down at a bench and you're able to you're able to like create a uh, new aug like new uh, mods for your guns and things like that. You can you can do like uh, scopes and things and, like you, you you can like, they said they had like a a base of like fifty weapons with like over I think it was like seven hundred different mods or something like that. I uh, was it seven hundred was seventy like I, I know it was I had seven in it somewhere like seven mods per gun or something like that. And uh, so that kind of that blew me away, and then and then they were like, uh, and then they they they, sh they showed off a uh, a new crafting system. It was kind of like something that uh, you know Skyrim had, where you can build your own house, but they've taken it to the next level. Like you can you can like l build your own little settlements, and like you can have like Brahmin caravans going to and from. And like I was just salivating. I was just like looking at it, like oh, mm, mm, mm. this game is going to be totally amazing they said they've improved the the combat in terms of like it feels like a first person shooter when you're in first person mode it doesn't feel like 
it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like kind of hit point A. They, they they've they, they've they've made sure it feels like slick and fast, and it feels like a first person shooter when you're in first person. They say they've improved it in third person as well. So I'll probably be playing it a lot more in third person because I prefer like I, I prefer to see my character. So if the game's improved in a third person man, I'm totally going to try it the third person anyway at least. And uh, they, you've seen improvements to the VAT system. They, they showed off the dog. You can give the dog commands. You can tell it to, to go and check out a place. You can tell it to go fetch like something from inside a building or something like that. And I thought that was really cool. It was really awesome. Uh, they showed off the 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 character generator. So to start off with, like it, they, they they showed off like the the husband and wife like sort of like stereotypical nuclear family thing. They're sitting in front of the mirror. And you're able to sort of tweak uh, facial features, kind of like uh, the Mario 64 kind of like title screen, where you could pull his nose and things like that, pull his ears and all that. Uh, they showed things like that where you can like kind of just almost like sculpt and mold the face to how you want it to be, rather than using slider bars and all that. It's like a real time kind of shows you that they're, 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 they you can mold the faces to however you want. And you can play male and female again as usual, and you can change the hairstyles and all that. It's, uh, it, it just looks, it just looks far and away the best Fallout game that I've ever seen. And like, ah, for, for, like Fallout Three for me, like I'd never played a Fallout game before. And when I I bought Fallout Three on a whim because I was kind of like, well, you know, I've heard this game's meant to be good, and I, I hate first person shooters, and but it's a first person RPG, so I'm gonna give it a try. And I seen it cheap in game at one point. It was like seventeen pounds, brand new, and I was like, well, I've heard it's good, so give it a try. And yeah, Fallout Three blew me away. And uh, when Fallout New Vegas came out, I just I picked it up straight away, and it was that was really good as well. Didn't it didn't quite grab me as as much as Fallout Three did because it was the first one that I played. But man, oh man, I could like I'm, my my mouth my mouth's going dry just like try to talk like as fast as I can about it. I don't I don't want to make these videos like not a video like this audio thing too long. Uh, but yeah, just like just going over some little points in that, and I was just you know just really excited for like what what I've seen. Uh, they showed that you can customize like each like all of your equipment is layered now, so you, you so you can have different arm pieces of armor compared like in, instead of you just picking up like a piece of armor, and that fill in your whole body, you can now pick up like different arm pieces, different leg pieces, you know, d different chest pieces, different like. You know different helmets and all that sort of stuff. Like, like in in Fallout Three, you could choose like your helmet and your chest piece, and that was pretty much it. Or, or like what you were wearing on your eyes, like your glasses or whatever, and that was it. This time they've got gone the whole hog, and you can you can customize all your armor. You can like yeah, you, you get power armor in the game. You can customize your power armor to look how you want. Like all these different parts of power armor on your thing. Man, what else did they show? They they showed a. Uh, they they showed the Pip Boy, the new Pip Boy that they've got, and the tapes that you can pick up. Sometimes the tapes can be actual games, so they showed like a it was almost like a Donkey Kong style game and a and a, a defender kind of game where you you, you know you, the missile missile defense kind of thing where you can play that like on your Pip Boy, like actual games within games, which is total sweet. Uh, the apparently the, the Fallout Four is the the biggest most uh, expansive like. Ugh, I don't think they said the word expansive, but they they said ambitious. It was their most ambitious like open world project that they've ever made, uh, and and they also mentioned that they they want to do it right. They've got an obligation to the fans to make sure that the game's done properly and it's made like it's built well and things like that. But they also mentioned that that keeping in mind that they've been making the game for about six years now since like since like Fallout Three came out. And uh, they said so that it's because they've been making it for so long, it's almost finished. And they said that the release date was going to be uh, November tenth this year. So that gives credence to the you know the the whole story about that guy getting fired from Bethesda for leaking company secrets or something like that. Can't remember what what like all the, the, the details, but there was a guy who got fired, and after like it was either before or after he got fired, he was leaking this information out. And one of the things that he said that it was meant to be slated for like the end of two thousand fifteen, and he was right. So obviously it wasn't it wasn't bull crap. And when he said that, man, oh, oh man, Fallout Three, oh, 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 I can't wait for that game. Uh, what else? They they, what else did they show? 
Man, they, 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 they were they were showing the gun customization. They were showing the crafting system. Uh, they had shown. Uh, you can go into Doom now because, like, the thing is, right, is that I'm surprisingly enthusiastic for Doom. Again, not much of a first-person shooter kind of guy because, like, I, I just hate that whole concept of like, you know, it's a it's a floating camera with a, with a gun attached to it. You know what I mean? It's just it's just basic like point shoot shoot point shoot point shoot and that's it. But like, you know what, Doom looked really fun. <laughs> Uh, seen that the visually, man, that game, like the the thing that most, that impressed me the most about it, was that they weren't going for this really sort of gamified version of something where they where they try and make things look uh, as realistic as possible by getting you to physically go over and press the press the cross button or the the A button or something like that to pick something up. They it, all it was is just like shards would drop from the enemies, and you just walk over the things to pick them up, and that give you health back or your armor back or whatever. And I seen that like I seen that, and I thought this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And the, and they've got like the double jump thing that like a, quite a lot of uh, first person shooters are doing now. Like uh, Destiny does the whole double jump thing where you're, you know the the gliding and things like that. And they showed like a double jump system in the game, and I was like, man. If only first-person shooters were this good back, like back in the back when they were first made, because <laughs> man, like the double jump system has been around in games like in two D platformers since pretty much the beginning. Uh, like only the basic of the most basic when they first started out never had it, and then like obviously as they started to develop like two D platformers a bit better, and like they had like a, a bit more like precision platforming on the go, they had like double jumps in the games and stuff like that. But yeah, like third, uh, first person shooters have like have only just started to adopt that system, and you know what? First person shooters are way cooler for that concept, man. Like that br bring bringing me back to like uh, Fallout though. Like <laughs> we're thinking about double jumps there. Uh, they showed a bit where the the power armor had like a jetpack on the back of it, so you can kind of glide around as you were shooting. Man, <laughs> you get you you drop like a smoke bomb, and like one of the big helicopter things come along and pick you up, and you can like fly about in the helicopters across the map and everything. That game looks so cool. It looks so cool. I am so enthusiastic for it, man. Like, really, really can't kind of wait. Like, just this and like Mad Max, and that's me happy. Like, an awful lot of people are really hyped for Batman. And you know what, Batman, I know I know Batman's gonna be great because all the Batman games are great. I'm more interested in Fallout and Mad Max to be honest, because like I really do like that whole post apocalyptic wasteland sort of fighting road punks and all that sort of thing. You know, I like that, that concept of like the world is in ruins and you've got to like sort of survive. I like I really do like that concept a, a bit more. Uh so like yeah. Batman, like, Batman's gonna be great, we all know that, like, but Doom, surprisingly, I, I went back on the video that, uh, that they showed on that, and, uh, I, I watched it all, watched all the gameplay of it, and it looked really fun, like, I'm, I'm, I wasn't gonna bother buying it, I was gonna, like, I, I've got the, I've got the beta because I had the Wolfenstein thing, uh, with the beta from Wolfenstein, or the alpha, or whatever it was, and I think that, I think that was about as far as I was gonna go with it, I was only going to go about that far, and like I'd never really play it proper, uh, probably. But they blew me away with that demo. Like they were they were showing off like the see the way it looked, man. It like it looked visually like it blew me away visually how it like how, how amazing it looked. It looked so freaking cool. Like from the from the simpleness of like when the when the level opened up and like he, all he was doing was kind of checking his gun and things like that. That looked so slick. It looked so awesome to see that. Uh, the like again the double jumps. They had like the 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 collectibles just dropping on the floor. You can just kind of walk over them to pick them up. I like that arcadiness. I hate I, I hate the I hate the like. See the thing is right is when when I had this aversion to first person shooters. When I when I said I don't like first person shooters. I hate first person shooters. It was mainly because of Call of Duty. It was mainly because of things like Battlefield and Call of Duty where they're going for this ultra realistic kind of modern warfare, it's just army guys, it's just soldiers going tucka 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 shooting at each other, you know. But this hyper stylized, like weird, like really great art style stuff, 
I really appreciate it and like I've I've come to really appreciate it because of games like Fallout because of games like uh, what else uh, there was Fallout there was like the Oblivion game uh, Oblivion and like Skyrim and all that it's games like that that have uh, come to give me an appreciation for first person shooters and things like uh, Condemned you know Condemned like blew me away when I first played it like I didn't think I'd ever get into like a first person shooter and that game's like not really a first person shooter it's more like a, just a first person game because like whenever you pick up bullets you only get like two bullets per like gun you pick up a gun it's like oh you've only got two rounds left so it's all about like the melee the, the survivalness of it the visceral nature of the combat so it's thanks to games like these that have got me a little more interested in the first person genre and obviously with Fallout like you could switch it to third person whenever you want anyway so like that all that always goes a long way when you're when you're able to like flick between the the perspectives uh, because at least then if I don't really like the game in first person I can always just play it in third person anyway but yeah ah oh, man Fallout 4 oh Fallout 4 is gonna be so good yeah so that's all I really want to talk about guys just simple quick like audio sort of audio log not a vlog but an audio log of like my reaction to like like not not an instant reaction obviously i've watched the videos and like this this is me now talking about what i've seen and what i thought about what i've seen but yeah eh, they showed fallout shelter as well and that was and yeah, that's not my thing eh, it, it looks quite cool like but i don't really have any like i ios devices or anything like that so i wouldn't really play it anyway probably just seems like busy work you know what i mean but they did show that whole pip boy you know they, they actually made a physical like pip boy for the for the special edition of the game that you can put your 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 mobile phone into and it's got an app for it and everything like that so you can just like use a pip boy like in real life <laughs> so man like again just junk that people will want but it's quite cool that it's there anyway like i, I don't think personally i just kind of like ah, well at least like if people who are really into like collecting things like that they can collect it and they can have fun with it and like never like put it in the cupboard and never use it again sort of thing so i've, I've kind of gone off of collector's editions like that now but yeah anyway guys uh thanks for listening and uh well there'll probably be an awful lot more of these uh, audio logs uh by the end of e3 because like all this all this new content all this stuff's going to come out and you know what i want more than anything else in the world I want Capcom to just be like, okay, Prime, we've heard you. You're the only voice that's saying this, but here's Bionic Commando 2. <laughs> that would like that would make this year for me. I was like, I, I tweeted Capcom and I said, just make this the best E3 ever, and bring out like announce Bionic Commando 2, please. That'd just be that'd be it for me. Like I'd just be like, best year in gaming ever. Yeah. Uh, so Doom's coming out 2016, Fallout 4's coming out at the end of this year, Mad Max is coming out sooner than that, it's like, it's just like, this is going to be just so jam-packed, so awesome, so, so stupidly epic, this is going to be so good. So thanks for listening guys, and uh, I'll hear you next time, you'll hear me, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like, no getting an outro yet, so thanks for listening guys, bye!